Blah. So it's missing like the first couple minutes of the second episode. But it works. Oh, I don't have any kind of editing software on this laptop. Trust me on that. There's nothing on here to edit anything with. <laughs> this, is, this laptop isn't old, but I never actually got anything for it. But it's just a gaming laptop. Edit by hand, yeah. Print it all out and then stick it all back together. I don't know like how many, I think there's five chapters maybe, but I'm probably only gonna do this one and then stop. Awesome, because I have to be up extra early tomorrow to go to work, not just to hang out in a chat. I'm gonna be very sad if someone's streaming and I have to go to work. Make sure and edit it, I should. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was just gone. No, 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 nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mum cho cho chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chuck swear that the apartments are haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. The day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some firecrackers and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but I could, just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed a pet rabbit. You don't have any editing skills, nor any software. Eh, still edit it. I'll be sure to stream while you're at work. Thank you, doofus. You do that. I'll be so sad. Honestly, I know, like, I'm not saying people uh, he should stream, but I was really looking forward to Jeff's stream because he said he would stream today or it's Thursday, which was today for me because obviously he streams at like 1 a.m. for me. I was kind of disappointed when he didn't, and then, like, my manager was like, do you want to come in at 5am? And I was like, yeah, 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 I, I wouldn't mind that. And then as soon as I got home, I was like, he's going to stream and I'm going to cry and I'm going to be miserable and I've got to be there until 1 o'clock. Fourth Monday, yes, fourth Monday. I lit a few up back and one ended up, oh, I've read that. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy as if I needed another reason to piss off. That old bag. I felt horrible though, the poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared. My mum stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school, I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was no like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but but had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part, those deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit, what? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear, I've seen it in this building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose.
My mum didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Oh, Huh, that's strange. What is that? found this weird gear boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. Nothing useful in there. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. A worn leather jacket. There's a couple of old concert tickets in a pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. We've got a Rubik's Cube. A spooky Rubik's Cube there. It is a tree house. There's some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. Take... What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belongs to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. What a conversation. Just let me know if you get it open. Of course. It's getting pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. Yeah! I can literally just said doing a treehouse, Sean. I wish I didn't have knees. My knees hurt when I walk. My legs would just forget like theirs. I'd be fine. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find. Okay, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mum. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Ooh, Megan. We're gonna go and visit his mum in bed. Hey, Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain, which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll just be fine. I'll be just fine even. Well, I didn't know how much of a snob you'd be. That's why. I love the game. I love the way it's drawn. But I know you, Sean. You're a drunken snob. Wait a minute. Look, there's a picture of us all together. I'm part of the family. They love us. Burr, burr, burr. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without chocolate. I hear you. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rickles Modish Wife? <laughs> I love Rickles Modern Life. I can't even remember that. You're drunk, Sean. I don't trust you in any way, shape or form. My phone is dying a slow death. That needs to go over there. I love how he's just been talking this whole time. Definitely a drunk. You are definitely a drunk. Thank you for admitting it at last. Did you see the new Rickles Modish Wife episode? Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. It looks like the machine is empty. Yeah, so is my tummy. Why aren't your parents feeding you? Feeding you good food? Any food? Why do you have to sit here waiting for a vending machine? 
Really? Who keeps leaving the clothes in here? Me. Lost and found. Doesn't look like anything I can use right now. Always drunk equals always drunk. Well, that's the best place for you when you're drunk, Sean. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Alright, come on in then. The door is open. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Miss Rosenberg. I, I wanted to ask you a few things if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much much left but time is all I've got now yes time is all I have and even that will soon slip away from me or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all such a strange concept isn't it time sitting here alone the mind can drift a great deal wondering what's beyond the veil get too deep into those thoughts and the world makes less and less sense yes time is an enigma oh but listen to me rambling on I'm sorry dear Sally you have something to ask how long have you lived here Long, indeed. Though it's hard to say exactly, my old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore, let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing, a void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around, and trust me when I say I've, tr I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I've been rambling on again. What a delightful old woman she is. What was your question? It's okay, Miss Rosenberg. I was asking how long you've lived in Addison Apartments. You know, I do remember when Addison's moved here from overseas to construct this building. Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. You regret selling the land. A life as old as mine is filled with regret, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. Wow. About the Addisons. Whatever happened to the rest of the family? Do they live around town? They're gone. Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As that young boy with a twinkle in his eyes and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah, why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. Damaged by a life of misfortunes. But aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Have you ever seen any ghosts in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a, th such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favour. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why you can say we are all ghosts really, just waiting to pass from this place to the next, such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. Jesus Christ, she is depressing. How may I help you, Sal? What with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the Im invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets dis discussed there. Um, oh yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future if you're able to do th to that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in for everyone's safety. With all of the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some 
promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, no, it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, um, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's it. Phew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stresses at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. You're too kind, Sal. Good day. I don't think anyone is here. Room two, we can go and see all the new people. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. Or well, maybe not. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. It's just a big empty room. Man, that smell's still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Sean, what did you do to the toilet? They're pretty busy right now. I probably shouldn't bother them. Oh, hi, hi Sal. What Yin's up to today? Hey, David. Have you ever seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure. The ghosts of my past keep me awake at night all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Uh, what about, like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here? Sally, you has got to lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. What happened to your pants? Oh, well, they endure wash still. Sarah was supposed to go get them done at... But we just got to talking. Nat Jano lost track of time. Cesia, I have no idea what that meant. That was, that that was weird. I don't know what kind of accent that's meant to be. What is he meant to be? Chug is downstairs and parents work the weekends. Break in. No one's home. That's my house. I don't need to be in my house. Robert's place. He must not be home. I could go in my house. I didn't start in here. You're right there, cat. Having a good time? Just sitting there, watching TV? What you watching, buddy? West Indian. I think it's just meant to be drug. Drug talk, Sean. Edward Shovel Hands. Wine Parks, Vampire Hunter B. Hey Dad, can't talk right now, so I have to make this deadline for work. Alright, be like that. Kaiser had no drug talk. <laughs> How dare she be sleeping? I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. Who was I meant to be going to talk to anyway? Oh, it might be the ghost. We might have been meant to be going to see the ghosty. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then we'll have to believe. Then he'll have to believe that Addison's apartments are haunted. Larry, are you there? I'm here. What's up? 
Can you come up to five or four? Sure, my mum just took a medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyways. I'll be right up. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. A homeless man hasn't returned. It's boarded shut. Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this mouldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud. And if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, know you who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know. And he's also into his supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd, really? Huh, I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so normal, rational. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm going to head back downstairs to make sure my mum's all right. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Bitch didn't show up when I needed her. What room was Todd on? Was he on two? Yeah. Hmm. Hey, Sally face. Sorry it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. You must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. I, um, me? You have? Yeah, all good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet... It's nice to you meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and chat more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work more on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that would be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You're right, Sal. You seem a bit anxious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so what brings you this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us, and an overall nice person. She has some trouble with her math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. Sure, I suppose so. He didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Oh, right. I see dead people. Are you referring to Mrs. Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted. I'm trying to find out more about the ghosts here. Ah, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance with your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that, in a, that, that an apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh? Really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that you and Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be that the water pipes act as some sort of conductor for them. Though that is only a speculation on my part. Do you have the Gear Boy cartridge with you, with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. You should be asleep, doofus. It's almost 9am. Yeah, I think it's past the time for sleeping. <laughs> what do you usually do to call upon Megan? Does the gear boy always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. You usually have to start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you, we're your friends. Hello, is anyone there? Nothing's happening and the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm, I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear boy to he help better detect supernatural hotspots. 
Cool, sounds good to me. I need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I need something to amplify the device's reception. And second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna or a battery pack. Sure, I'll be in my room once you're ready. Nice toilet you have there. That's Todd's room. Todd's parents are in there. I don't want to bother them. <laughs> no, it's fine, Sally. Just walk in. I don't think it's the boy. I'm pretty sure it's his parents. Boom, 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 boom. Can I get his pants out now? Have you seen a ghost lately? Nah, not really. I know she's your friend, but Megan scares my pants off. I just stay in my room most times. Ever seen a demon of red eyes? What? Heck no. Are you trying to give me nightmares? See ya. Do, do, do. Is your mum okay? Yeah, she'll be alright. The change of season always gets to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Hasta la vista, Sally. Did you tape that new Sanity Fool song? Yeah, man, you want to hear it? Maybe later. Where am I going to get these things? Maybe in my house. I already said that I wish I had spaghetti legs. You're copying me now, Sean. My cat just creepily watching the TV there. Nothing in my bedroom, obviously. Hey, Dad. Did anyone see anything like what I had to find anywhere? What rooms could we go in? We could go into Todd's room and try to steal his stuff from him. Use this, Todd. Bob. I like your fish. That's Bob. He's okay. My parents insisted that I needed more nature in my life to counterbalance all of this technology, as they put it. He has nothing in his room. Oh, wait a minute. I've got stuff. Walkie talkie. Oh no. need something for an antenna. I can't even think of somewhere to find something like that. There are butts in the chat now. Butts! I see those butts. Oh, 
There was nothing in Charlie's place, was there? No. There was nothing in here. Just get some from Dag and Ron for characters. I can't even think where to get one. Chuck's downstairs. There's another empty one. Nothing past Addison's room, is there? Was there anything in it? Can anyone remember? No, you can't interact with the TV. Can anyone remember what was in the treehouse? Was there anything in the treehouse? This is just like a chest in a tree house, but there's nothing of note inside this one. Why is that kitchen always so dark? What about the plunger? Let's take the plunger! Can't get you anything. I just want to steal stuff from you, mate. That's what I actually want to do. Can't interact with his TV. Oh, it's from the scanner. I guess that'd be okay. Got it! See, I knew if I just walked around tapping F, I'd find it sooner than later. Good strategy to find these things. Yes, this will work perfectly. With the two components you retrieved and my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get ready. Okay, all set. Behold, the super gear boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It will only be in ghost hunting mode while the strange cartridge is in it. Ah, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, I unfortunately needed a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. Larry's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the best results, you'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. Do so. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button there to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, then the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby operations and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, I think I get the gist of it. I suggest that we take it for a test run in my bathroom. Sounds good. He really wants us in his bathroom. Whenever you're ready, hold up the super gear boy by pressing shift.
Hmm, maybe I... It worked? Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? I never thought he'd kill them. I... It's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh God, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, 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 no. No, no. Nerd talk. What was it? Get that chicken nugget out of my chat. No chicken nuggets in chat. And it's to the Sean variety. He's here. Who? The red-eyed man. The one who killed Stacy and her daughter. I have to go. I'm sorry. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing to read about the paranormal and formulate theories and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay here and do some research. I want to go look into the history of Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That would be really helpful. While you do that, I'm going to search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I know it was some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You may want to check it out to make sure it's okay. I can play it. But chapter three. He knew not why he was drawn into this place. It could not prevent his feet from treading the dirt path before him. Perhaps it was simply curiosity, or perhaps it was destiny. Sorry, members only. Sounds like someone is crying. I better go check to make sure they're okay. Miss, are you okay? Who are you? Pardon my rudeness, ma'am. My name is Gregory Montagu. I didn't mean to intrude on you. It's just that I heard crying and wanted to make sure everything was okay. That's kind of you. I take it you're not with the men of this church. No, ma'am. That's for the best. It's terrible. What goes on in this place? It keeps me up at night. I'm beginning to fear for mine and my daughter's safety. I've tried to reason with them. I've reached my wit's end. I understand. I lost my family last year in the big factory fire. It breaks my heart to see a kind lady such as yourself so broken up. I like to help however I can. You just... You just tell me what you need. That's awfully kind of you, Mr. Montague. I'm dearly sorry about your family. Please call me Greg. Pleasure to meet you, Greg. I'm Stacy Holmes. You couldn't have come along at a better time. You must be an angel. <gasps> that demon appeared in the mirror. Yes, yes, he did. Doofus like Gerbert. The thing is, I don't mind, I wouldn't want to watch Garbert, but I like the Ian Garbert videos a lot. But then again, I like Ian a lot, so that's not really saying anything. But I still don't want Garbert in my chat. Great game, it's a game within a game. It is, and it's also telling the story of the man on the toilet, if you haven't noticed. Just a humble farmer that's got to be helpful to nice folk like you. The pleasure is all mine. Anna's an angel confirmed. I don't know about that. No, you didn't because you're oblivious. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, 
Um, what? Mo noticed. Mo's paying attention. I believe Mo. Mo said he's seen it. Mo, Mo's telling the truth. Sean is a rude boy. He's a super rude boy. That didn't look good. No, no it didn't, Sal. Oh, we can go in here now. This looks exactly like a room I want to be in. We can go on the fourth floor and have a look around. Maybe the cat's haunted. Cat? Cat? Are you okay? You're not setting off my alarms, cat? You sure you're fine? Creepy cat. He is an unspooky cat. Not sure I bloody agree with that though. If a cat sat on my sofa like that watching the TV, I'd be a bit concerned. Just a tiny bit. been on three have I? I've been on two. Can I go into any room on three? I'm just gonna walk around with this thing now. Here hotspot hotspot come to me. Let's have a look in one. Well, you're freaky. Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's a, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You really shouldn't tamper with things that you don't understand. Are you okay? Is anything okay? I haven't been in a long time. I meant, yes, I know, Sally. I'm not gonna drop dead on you, not today at least. Sally face looking for the ghost Wi-Fi.
down into the basement we go. Chug isn't haunted, that's for sure. Try 104. 104 is locked. There's no one in 104. What the? Oh, I've got an achievement. Oh, nice. Have you actually played this before? No. Unfortunately, he is a mod, and unfortunately, he is allowed to boss people around a little bit. Look at me go with my noodle legs. Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No, 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 You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I'm guessing that's. I'm sorry. I haven't something much time. Just remember something, something. You something to remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? I have to go now. Something is something. Don't forget the red ball. Something, something, something to die. Just when I thought I was going, getting used to seeing ghosts, then that happens. Wherever that was. My life is weird. Well, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he's found anything. So is there actually anything in 104 then? Or was it a guess? What do you want? Oh no, uh, um, some of the rooms that you can access do have sound effects to them. Like the one that always sounds like someone's building in it. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only one that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him on the public record. Wow. What the? It gets even weirder. There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Henderson was killed, not even the classified police reports. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. It's a missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be a little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom is telling us about. The story's lined up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. There's an update to the report one day after the original was filed, stating that the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake, that's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says they've been fishing and fell into the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I look when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy, perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Wasn't it the old woman? Wasn't it the old woman? It makes sense if it was the old woman.
No. Uh, where will I have seen that? I've not seen anything with Anderson. get to see Ash again though. She doesn't live in the building. Unless it's in the lost and found. Yeah, there we go. I knew I saw that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. For sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Bam! Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> you have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Yeah, the picture was the girl, but as he said, we didn't see her with necklace. But yeah, this is the girl, the girl in the picture. Where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean Mummy's friend? I like Greg. He's always bring he always brings me candy. Can you remember anything else about him? Um, just that he was nice and always bought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. What can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mummy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mummy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he and then he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at late Wendigo? Huh? No, i never been fishing before. My daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how do you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess our daddies were friends. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. I'm sorry. Is this your necklace? Hey, yeah. Where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mummy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mummy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait, I... Shit. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into the bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mum's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked him like three times now and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. You stay in the bathroom. The creepy-ass bathroom. In the creepy-ass apartment on the creepy-ass floor. You just stay there. I'll go talk to the druggie. Sup, brother? Can I borrow your crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See, those kids next door in 301, they're nice kids and all, but they have, a, have these real loud parties sometimes. Shakes the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you could talk to them for me, get them, them a little quieter, then I could let them borrow the crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Thanks, Sal. I'd do it myself, but I'm at of clean clothes, you see? And I just hate to be the old party pooper, do you know? It's not a problem, I'll be right back. See us. I bet you that's just a northern accent. I bet you that's just what Sean sounds like. Who says you is yins? I don't know. 
I won't pass, put anything past the northerners. Yeah, what up, Sal? Hey, CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for our party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Northern sound like. How about this? Dude, I think this will put everyone to sleep. Okay, check out the songs again. What about that? How about this? How if you know there's something interesting about this one? It's unex unexpected, it's classy. I think this could work. Yeah, be quiet. Sup, brother. I'd love to lend it to you, but you're only holding myself up. Oh, I've got to do more than just that. <sighs> hey Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, hey Sally Face, I'm contemplating an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friends and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Sure. This looks like a great list. Going to do D and D? How about this? Uh, we usually do D and D on Thursday, so I sort of want something different tonight. Uh, how about this? That's usually my go-to choice. Also, that could work. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. How about this game? Hmm, you know this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia could be what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. What, David? Pretty sure David is just a druggie. So what else do I have to do then? Is video game still going to be too loud? Maybe a debate. There we go. We could play chess. I worked it out with the college students. They're gonna have a much more low-key party this time. Well, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Sarah would be so happy too. Last time our wedding picture almost blowed up pieces. I'm glad I could help. Alright, let me grab that crowbar for you. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Yeah. We're gonna go and break into a bedroom of a ghost. Oh, what am I doing? Should be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Yeah. Huge hole in the wall. Looks like there's a room on the other side. Oh, wait a minute. Stacy, are you okay? I don't think she's okay, Sal. All right.
Uh, hello? They're all unlocked now. She desperately sought a place among the councils so that aspiring witch travelled deep into the castle for the initiation trial to retrieve the book of forgotten proofs. Oh bugger. I need to wait until she actually stops moving. Tap it like that. Make it go super slow. No, 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 this isn't because I'm bad. You do not understand. Just pressing down, just a, that is just like a little press down on your button. You kind of like have to really slowly tap it to get it to move just a little bit. Because if you press down too much, you will just literally go flying. Come on, Stacy. Very slowly. Retrieved the book of forgotten truths. Will you now see my worth? Will you see my worth now? The council recognizes <coughs> the great resolve you've shown us today. Let this book stand as testament of your place among our ranks from henceforth. Many may our sight pierce the heavens and our reach be infinite and everlasting, for we are the devourers of God. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, If you can find the door this key unlocks, we will share the secrets of the universe with you. More puzzles.
Oh my god, how many rooms? Oh, I mean, I think that's... Buttons up there. Can I get to that over here? Did it. When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. Okay, she said I needed to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. them you can't outrun them and you go straight back to the top as well they don't let you start from the level that you were on oh she cuts the power just she use the elevator good point good point I don't like these games. It's like Frogger. She is cutting the power of the Monday call. Or maybe not. I'm not sure I want to be part of this call.
That's what my cult looks like. Oh, wrong button completely. I mean, we haven't got to the robes and running around in circles yet. Cause mayhem yet, though. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, <laughs> he was gonna run into me when I couldn't move. Take that now. Where am I going then? Oh, that room. Okay, Rosenberg, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Good, now I've destroyed the seventh book. Will we really be able to stop them? We've got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. I should have never let things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If we can stop the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to perform it for a thousand years. And I pray to God that this works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. I did it! Clayton was interrupted by the promptly setting sun. In the moment, the young girl realised she had gone far too deep into the unfamiliar woods. Another puzzle. Where have you been, child? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost and it was so dark and, and hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace. It will protect you from the wickedness in this world so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about Father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Well, that was easy. A young occultist found herself tangled in the bowels of the castle, searching for the final components the council required. Oh my god, another one of these. Those ropes are impractical.
Oh my god. And I'm gonna have to come back this way. Oh my god, at least the skull stayed there. I can't do these kinds of mazes. I don't have the concentration for them. Shuffle, shuffle. I pressed down too hard on the button. I need to stop doing that. I got past this bit just a minute ago. Blah, 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 blah. Shuffle, shuffle. I'm still going to go up. Go another one. Whatever. I'm probably gonna have to go up there. They looked like there was a place at the bottom. I'm gonna go down though. I don't know how many I need. Shuffle. There's nothing down here. Ugh. That was cruel. How could they do that? Maybe there is nothing else in this way. So was there something else over here I missed? 
way too heavy handed with my left hand. I only got three. I retrieved the remaining assets. They're very, very good. The preparations are now complete. Stay within the circle while we, while we perform the summoning. I understand. Oh dear. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Well, he's moving even worse than the other characters have so far. The child will only slow us down. She will never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. Gee. I wish I could get across just how, like, that movement, how little I touch the button to make him move that far. And if you take your finger off, he doesn't stop, he carries on. Walk with me into the undying flame and our power shall be endless. Stop running. I can't even predict how far he's going to run. Oh, wait a minute, I can just run now. Luke, can you hear me? Luke? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing you did. So that red-eyed creep has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? I thought living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thingy seemed, to, seemed like it took care of it. Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he, he just... Aww. Yeah, that's the girl's dad. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The gods, the gods are giving me the look. Wait, that was the only part of the story. I had hoped to get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. So these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. The evidence against you for what you did... Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking cycle, eh? He has a butt chin. Monday cult isn't that evil. We just believe in Monday. 
There it is, there's our home. Everything else is destroyed, but the tree house, the tree house is still there. The mustache though. Not as good as Doofus's was yesterday. Rusty tools and other various junk. A few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. They're filled with clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Seems to be a photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Uh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just needed to see it for myself. So I was so convincing and this whole thing seemed off. Dr. Enan. Who? What? Ah! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please. You have to get Sal here. Th this, yours, you, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You're going to give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then... Shit. What a reaction. This is basically the start of the next chapter. So this is where I'm going to quit it. That's it. That's it. That is your lot for today.